We're going to play throwback live here we at 705. <laughs> I am feeling no. like I'm just going to blow you away today. I'm a little hungover. Can we go <laughs> gentle? Hungover? Oh, yes. kick volume. Is Sunday, yesterday. Sunday. Oh, God. It's Chris and the crew. Wow. Good morning. Yeah, mess. we're going 94 minutes commercial right. free coming up at 10 o'clock. It's Chris, Joe, Gianna. Let's get to All it. All right, Gianna, you're the moderator. I am. All right. So we usually put a little theme. This week's theme, it's songs that became famous from movies. And all I want you to do is name the movie. Oh. Okay. Pretty simple, in my humble opinion. Okay. So if you guys get it wrong, I guess I'll judge you a little bit. Names are our buzzers. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can play along at home, too. Just tell us the answer in the 94.5 PST app chat. All right, here we go. First one. On this day, in my way. Joe? Go ahead. Oh. Legally Blonde. It is Legally oh, Blonde. I was just going to say, you took the words out of my mouth. Yep. Point for mm-hmm. Joe. All right. that, oh, and that's Hoku, I, I think, that. right? Oh, wow, that's a really I think good... it's Hoku. <laughs> that's, we're not, we didn't ask for that show off. <laughs> I was going to say, we're not granting bonus points over here. All right, here we go. Next one. You want to give it a go? Uh, the Chris? Go ahead. Moulin Rouge. It is Moulin Rouge. All right. Whoa. Love that song. Neck and neck somehow. Going to come down to this one, isn't it, Chrissy? She was so confident. Tie score. All right, here we go. Final one. Something strange in your neighborhood. (laughs) Who you going to call? Chris. Ghostbusters. You said Ghostbusters. That is correct. Thought I'd throw in a fun little one. It's not Halloween yet, but... We're halfway there. All right, Chris was confident I was going down. I hope Gianna's less hungover than me for round two. Point five PST, your number one hit music station. Go commercial free at 10 o'clock. Make sure you're here. We'll start off your day right. It's Joe, Chris, Chris, Joe. That was a weird <laughs> Threw me off. circle thing. <laughs> Joe, Lovely. Gianna, Danzero, Chris, we're all here this morning. <laughs> Playing throwback live at 7.05. It's round two. I beat Joe in the first round, so now Gian and I are going head to head. And Joe's going to press all the fun little buttons. And so what I've rounded up is to keep with our theme, all movie soundtrack songs, you just have to name the movie, not the artist, even though I thought we should. And you can play along at home. Nikki and Jackson was playing along. Robin Bridgewater got a few right last round, too. So you can play along. Just get in the 94.5 PST app chat. Your names are your buzzers. Here we go. First okay. one. Whoa. Gianna may be a little too young for this. It's Breakfast Club. It is Breakfast Club. You're correct. You know that one? I actually did know that That's one. That's a classic. It is, it yeah. is a classic. I just All couldn't right. get it quick enough. Chris is out to a 1-0 to lead. Here we go. Number two. Song number two. You must fight just to keep them alive. Gianna. Uh, Rocky. I and the Tiger. It is Rocky. You're what? correct. You're close to your Philadelphia adjacency. Got that. Uh, That's another classic. Good one. Have you seen Rocky, Chris? It doesn't seem like a Chris movie to me. Yeah, parts of it. (gasps) When I've I've had to. This is is is. tracking for Chris. Adrian! Do you know anything else about the movie? (laughs) Not really. That's what I thought. All right, the third one. It's a boxing movie, right? I have a feeling Chris (laughs) has seen most of. Let's, let's, here we go. Here we go. Here's the next one. uh, I'll press play. Here we go. Since Chris is over there, Chris so is, her call. hand was on her chest and she was her eyes were shut. I almost started crying. Gianna said her name first. Aww. If we're playing by the rules, Gianna. A star is born. Mm. It is a star is born. Chris one is my, too busy over there. Chris, one of my favorite all time favorite. Movies. I think it's been now. I mean, the movie's been redone three times. I think I'd like to discuss the topic of why I put that song in there. <laughs> Um, Chris, do you know how the I, I, it's we're past the spoiler alert phase, we're right? It's been that. it's been eight years I'm or whatever. Sure I've seen the very very end, what? but I've seen the beginning at least ten times. I know this because <laughs> Gianna and I, year, like several months ago, if not a year ago, it was years ago, referred to that movie and said, "Oh, when he dies," and Chris goes, I "He like, dies." What? <laughs> She's like, "Wait, when did that happen?" I thought they got back together the most happily ever <laughs> after. <laughs> Clean. And we're like, no. Really That's what I wanted dead. to happen in we my head. We said something about the garage scene. She goes, what? I've never seen it. Can I love it, that movie. Can I explain myself? <laughs> I saw it for the first time. Now, we're talking about the Lady Gaga Bradley Cooper movie. Yes. Okay, not the originals, whatever. I, well, thought, I, I thought well. the first two times I saw it was on a plane. 
and the flight wasn't long enough for me to get to the end. So my question is, why wouldn't you pick up where you left off? I have time, I have time to say it. But, yes. didn't, but wouldn't you put together that the plane ride was the same? Going to be like you were only going to yeah, you were only going to get to like the two hour mark or whatever, you know. I probably yeah. should have started where I left off. Yeah, but I loved it so much. I'll start from the beginning. Those screens <laughs> let you fast forward now on planes. It's not like you're just stuck with what they're I showing. Didn't want to because I love like. like I, oh, well, I can Chris, feel it in my chest. Well, we spoiled it for her. Bad news, Bradley Cooper dies. I can't believe it. <laughs> you know, if somebody posted a picture of you on the toilet, <laughs> it's Chris and the crew. Good morning, Chris, Joe, and Gianna. Looking pretty good out there today. Mostly sunny and about 60. Chilling right now, though, so grab a jacket. It's 40 at PST. So Travis Barker posted this little, you know, photo dump for Courtney on her birthday. Ugh, Courtney Kardashian. dump. Photo. Well, it's a photo it dump. She's taking a dump is well, what I'm saying. It oh. just looks like she was peeing. I think she was just peeing. But he posted a picture, and it was like really cute pictures, them with their new son, with Rocky, and them, you know, doing things. And then there's just one picture of her like squatting over a toilet. And I think I'd, I'd be pretty pissed off if somebody posted a picture of me like that. I'd be so pissed off. I feel like there's four times that you shouldn't post someone's picture. Four times. What First are they? time is when I'm asleep. Okay. You're asleep. You don't want anybody posting your picture when you're sleeping. Valid. Some people think that's cute. I'd be mad. Um, the second time is like when you're messy drunk, right? Like messy drunk. See, but, I don't know if I agree. I think that oh. could be kind of funny. Messy drunk? It could be kind of funny. Like fun drunk is one thing. Yeah. Third time I feel like is when you're crying. See, that could be kind of fun. I, I think Ooh, all, of these, all of these are better than what he posted. Ooh. And then fourth is in the bathroom. In the bathroom, I, I just think there's yeah, no... In the bathroom is just the worst, Ugh. right? And I think this is... It, we all know since Courtney started dating Travis Barker. Travis Barker, if you don't know, is the drummer of Blink-182, my favorite band in the world. Anyway, um, she's trying to be like very pop punk. Not pop punk. She's trying to be like very edgy. grungy and edgy and punk-ish. And it's just... I don't know if the vibe is really her vibe, yeah. and that's fine. But I think this, she, I'm sure she approved all of these pictures. There's no way she's not handpicking the pictures that he's posting. You think Chris Jenner allowed that? Obviously, she probably did, because I don't think anybody does anything without her approval. That's what I'm saying. So I'm sure she handpicked these, and she was like, oh, this makes me look so edgy, like, post it. I don't want to see her I on have, the toilet. Uh, Do you? No. Why did she even let him take that photo? The bathroom is one place you should not really be close with your partner. Yeah. <laughs> well, and in true you know? Kardashian style, too, she doesn't look bad. I mean, she looks beautiful. No, yeah, well, yeah, she, yeah, even yeah. when she's peeing, she mm -hmm. looks beautiful. She's in yeah. full glam, like this tiny black yeah. dress, heels, like obviously she still looks good, but do we really need to like see half of her butt? <laughs> it's insane to me. I don't know, you can tell us in the 94.5 PST app chat right now, but would you be mad if somebody posted a picture of you on the toilet? Here's what's coming up with Chris and the crew. Ugh, not a good look. All right, coming up uh, just after 8 o'clock, we'll give you the first cash code of the day, right? 30 grand in your hand. Brought to you by, sponsored locally by Dogs and Cats Rule for all natural pet foods and supplies. Online at dogsandcatsrule.pet. 748, we're going to do the scoop. Oh my God, so much going on. There was a full on Spice Girl reunion. Taylor Swift already breaking records for tortured poets department. AI may be creeping into your hotel shower. And Morgan Wallen is finally speaking out about that chair throwing incident. That's on the way. And at 740, your chance to beat Chris Rollins, the unbeatable. Chris Rollins, if you will, uh, to take her on in a pop culture quiz. We'll do it in a couple of minutes. Chris and the crew, 94.5 PST. It can't beat Chris. Can't beat Chris on 94.5 PST. It is Monday, the first can't beat Chris of the week. Who do we have on the line today? This is Amy from Chesterfield, New Jersey. Hey, Amy. All right, so you're going to take Chris on today. Are you feeling confident? Are you feeling smart? I'm feeling pretty good for a Monday. All right, Chris is here too. I'm having, I'm feeling the Monday blues, so we'll see how this goes. All right, so Gianna, you give her the, I'm going to step out, you do your thing, and then I'll be back because I don't want to hear your answers, then we'll see who wins, okay? All right. All right, good luck. Give you some privacy, Amy. All right, she's gone. You ready for your first question? Question number one. Influencer Alex Earl is on the cover of Flaunt Magazine. What social media app made her famous? Uh, that would be TikTok. Are you going to lock that in? I'm going to lock that in. All right, here we go. Question number two. 
the internet is speculating that there's a new couple on the scene. It's Martin Short and who? I'm going to go with Meryl Streep, and I'm going to lock that in. All right, we're going to lock that in as your answer. Final question. Kelly Clarkson released her first single 20 years ago this week. Name this Kelly Clarkson song. That would be Since You've Been Gone. You going to lock it in? I'm going to lock that in. All right, we are going to call Chris back into the room. Can't be Chris is sponsored by Legoland Discovery Center Philadelphia. Jump into a world of creativity, color, and playful learning. Info and tickets at philadelphia.legolanddiscoverycenter.com. What's up, Chris? How you doing? All right, Amy's answers are locked in. Okay. First question for Chris. Influencer Alex Earl is on the cover of Flaunt Magazine. What social media app made her famous? Yeah, it helps to have teenagers in my house because I know this. It's TikTok. You both said TikTok and you're both correct. All right. One and one going into the second question. Here we go. The internet is speculating that there's a new couple on the scene. Martin Short and which actress? Yeah, I heard about this. It's Meryl Streep. You guys actually both said Meryl Streep and you guys are both correct. Yes. They make a cute couple. Neck and neck going into the final question. Kelly Clarkson released her first single 20 years ago this week. Name this Kelly Clarkson song. Well, that's kind of easy because there was the title. (laughs) Since You've Been Gone. I love that song. We never claim to be breaking the (laughs) the mold here. You guys both said Since You've Been Gone. You guys are both correct. Yes. You guys tied today. It's pretty good. (laughs) All right, Amy, because you guys tied today, we're not going to make you say that phrase of shame, but ties do go to the house. So that is another point for Chris on her winning streak. I'll take it. Amy, you want a pair of tickets to the Buy Right Beer and Wine Festival. It's on Saturday, April 27th at Bristol County Park. I will take that as a great win. <laughs> Love it. Whether you're a beer enthusiast or a wine connoisseur, come enjoy a great day at Mercer County Park. Get more information now on the events page at WPST.com. Congrats, Amy. Thank you so much. Listen tomorrow morning at 7.40 for another chance to beat Chris on 94.5 PST. It's Chris and the Crew's Daily Scoop. Taylor Swift's, you know, new album, Tortured Poets Department, broken the Spotify record for the most streamed album in a day. How many times did you listen to it over the weekend? Taylor is also the most streamed artist in a day. Fortnite, the first single, is the most streamed song in a day. Speaking of Fortnite, she dropped the video for it, and it features, you guys see, Ethan Hawke and Josh Charles, two of the stars of the movie, The Dead Poets Society, which is why when she first told us the name of the album, we kept calling it The Tortured Poets. It's society. Yes. <laughs> because that's the movie. Josh says he had to keep it quiet, you know, quiet, completely quiet. He had to sign a thing, you know, everything. He couldn't even tell his kids. He said they were quite surprised when <laughs> they found out on Friday. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. So if you bought a physical copy of the album, you got a cool bonus. It's a poem by Stevie Nicks printed inside. Stevie's mentioned in the track Clara Bow. Um, and a full Spice Girl reunion over the weekend. Kind of crazy. Um, Victoria Beckham's 50th birthday just passed and she had a big bash. All the Spice Girls came out, which is funny because don't you feel like she's kind of separated herself from them? Yeah, a little bit. But they all came together and they even sang along to their old songs. Listen. Thank you very much. Love it. That old Spice Girls. Mm, gotta love that. So AI may be creeping into your hotel shower. This is kind of weird. So this new study says that hotels could save water by bringing AI into the showers. The idea is that there'd be a screen that would give you like feedback about how long you're showering, uh, how much water you're using, things like that. And it would have a timer basically encouraging you to like beat the clock. Like, okay, get out of the shower by the time this ends and you'll save this much water. And that I don't would work like that. for somebody like Chris Rollins because she loves the game. She's so competitive. She's like, oh my God, I saved, saved a rainforest. It's true. I don't like this though. I feel but like I don't if, either. if you're at a hotel, you want to relax. I agree. I like you're on vacation probably. It's not a time to be reminded of the world's problems. Agreed. But I would have anxiety watching that timer tick down. Yes. You know what I mean? Turn that off. Yeah. Right. And Morgan Wallen's finally spoken out for the first time since his, you know, arrest and throwing that chair off that roof 
rooftop bar. He said, I didn't feel right publicly checking in until I made amends with some folks. I'm not proud of my behavior, and I accept responsibility. This man is exhausting. He is. All right, there's the scoop. Here's what's coming up with Chris and the crew. Coming up just after 8 o'clock, got the first cash code of the day for you. Get ready. 30 grand in your hand. Still going on. Sponsored locally by Dogs and Cats Rule for all natural pet foods and supplies. Online at dogsandcatsrule.pet. That could be your mortgage paid for a year or more. All right. So get ready. We'll do it just after 8. Chris and the crew. 94.5 PST. I'll sitter ever. I keep getting get, I keep getting the job. Are you allowed I don't know to have a party? How you keep getting the job? Are you allowed to have a party when you're house sitting? No. Like in it, we're t- I'm, I'm an adult. I'm house sitting for an adult friend. I'm allowed to have a party. The phones are open. Anytime you want to chime in, 609-243-9778. He wants to throw a party at their house while they're gone. And maybe two parties. I'm gonna, I'm house sitting for like the next 3 weeks. So he basically, he thinks that the house is just his to do whatever he wants in the house. I don't think the homeowners would be thrilled if you threw a party in their house. I'd like to clarify a few points. The homeowner, the homeowner is my best, one of my best friends. And it's not some rando. But are they, fr- they're friends with the other people that would be coming to the party? I think most of them. Yeah. Okay. I don't really see that I, much I wrong fact, with this. I may send it in the group chat that they're in so they know what's happening. I'm not hiding it. I think what should have been done was, if you wanted to do this, I think permission should have been asked before they go away. This is the friend. They're already gone now. This is my friend who lives in Center City, has a very central located uh, house. And so we use it as our fun pad anyway all the time. Yeah, but they're there and they know what's going on. Are you saying I'm not allowed people over in general? No, you're allowed people over. I think you're allowed to have a small get together there. I don't really think there's anything wrong with it as long as you don't trash the house. He's not talking about a small get together, Gianna. But here's the thing, though. I mean, I think if that were me, I'd rather people be in my house and having and knowing that people were looking after my things. Yeah, they do, Joe. Yeah, and don't I'm friends. quite good at that. I don't think there's that much wrong with this. I wouldn't uh, mind this. I'm not sure. I would want to be asked first as the homeowner. You can't just do it without them knowing or without asking their permission. I really don't think there's anything wrong with this. Oh my God. I, I, I sincerely like, I, this is probably why you haven't called me to house it again, Chris. You're right. That was a <laughs> one and done. 609-243. Going commercial free at 10 o'clock. It's 94.5 PST, your number one hit music station. All right. So Joe's house sitting, is he allowed to throw a party in someone else's house? Yes. I can't even believe you're asking to do this. I can't even believe you think that I'm an adult. It's one of my friends. I'm staying at his house for four weeks, basically, but start you to didn't finish. Ask them. They don't know you're going to do this. This is their house. He has a cell phone. I will text him, and it's most of his friends. Should have been done beforehand. Let's go to the phones. Christina in Warrington is on the line. Hey, Christina. Good morning. Don't you think you should have asked first? So, I don't think there's anything with having people over, but absolutely, Joe, you should have asked first. Even if it's like, hey, can I have some people over? Just so that they're aware other people are at their house. I mean, what if they're people that they don't know? Like, what if, you know, I I wouldn't want that as a homeowner. Uh Uh-uh. If you're bringing people in that I don't know... I'm actually, I'm going to feel guilty, Chris. You ready for this? I'm probably going to do two parties there. One, just a a random, you know, one probably next weekend. And then I started, uh, because I have a bunch of friends that have lost their moms, I'm probably going to do my annual Mother's Day gathering. I think that's fine. I think there's nobody there. It's all his, it's his friends too. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There's something different than having a meal. Okay, then throwing a party. They're the same. We're in our, we're, we are people of an age. I was, what if somebody spills something? What if somebody oh, breaks something? So then Joe, I remember, somebody Riz, steals I remember something? Riz when, okay, who? Here's the, neither of you are homeowners. I think you would feel differently if you were homeowners. No, here's the thing, though. It's because you have we have faith in our friends, too. Yeah. This isn't some high school rager. Chris, I think you wow. need to check out really? your friends. With him? Yeah, for real. Yeah. I With think Chris you? needs some new friends if she no. doesn't trust them. You're the one who tells me about these par- these wild parties at your at your house. That's yeah, but people aren't swinging. Seventy people. But people aren't swinging from chandeliers. Yes, and, yes. You know, it's are like. You sure? I am certain we're not swinging from chandeliers. We are people. We're getting older. I still think you should have their. They 
You should have their permission first. I think you should mention it, but I don't think... I don't mention think. it? You need to ask if they're okay with I it. I think we're going to say, hey... Do you think your mother would want someone throwing a party at your house that she was unaware of? I have to say. No way. I have to say my friends did not to spiral off into another thing, but my friend's dog sat for us one time. They had friends over. They had a whole poker night. They were hanging out at our outdoor bar and did stuff. Did they ask first? No, they just came over. And my mom was like, you know what? I'm so happy that people are just there with the dog, keeping oh, them company. Boy. See? Secrets? So, maybe that's where I'm getting my views from. <laughs> well. You are. Here's what's coming up with Chris and the crew. I don't know. I think you should ask first. Anyway, coming up at 8.30 this morning. So, Joe, I hear you have a new um, CBF. What? New crew best friend. Uh, something happened on Friday morning <laughs> behind the scenes here that I would like to acknowledge, actually, <laughs> publicly and, and with some gratitude. That's Chris and the crew, ninety four point five PST at uh, nine o'clock on ninety four point five PST. Your number one hit music station, Chris, Joe, and Gianna. Happy Monday, new new week, new start. Right? Have you ever been amazed by the shocking generosity of one of your coworkers? Because I was on Friday morning. So I woke up here at the station because I had slept here because I was out at Al's listening to Taylor Swift. And, and I came back and I just took a little siesta. I was going to say sleep is, is probably not the term. A nap. nap. I'm, a, a, probably a stupor too because I did do some shots with my friends at the bar. Chris and I were, were put, not Chris Rollins, Chris and Al's and I were having some fun. Um, <laughs> I felt so bad. So, and, and the interesting thing was you walked in and my shoes were by the front door couch, but I couldn't get comfortable there. <laughs> Literally walked in Joe's shoes. Shoes are in one place, his bags in another. My bag was here in the studio, but then I settled into the office. So Chris and Gianna share an <laughs> office, and mine is separate. You guys have a nice chair in there. That is Chris's that you guys moved into that office with. Yep. So that's where I was, right in the doorway. You could see me. Now, at about, you know, when, it, when it's getting to be showtime, Chris comes in nicely, and she nicely rubs my arm and gives me, I didn't want to wake you. She was very sweet. She was very gentle. You. She came in, yeah. you have about five to ten minutes until you have to come in. Very nice. And then she quietly, okay, do you need anything? And she goes, okay. She shut the door. <laughs> I felt so bad. 15 he minutes. snoring legit. 15 minutes later, because I did drift back to, <laughs> to sleep. Clank, boom, bang, bop. <laughs> Joe! You got to come in. Gianna went busting through Gianna, the door. <laughs> Gianna busts through the door like the Kool-Aid man. God. <laughs> Were you scared? Yeah. I didn't thought I was being arrested or something. Well, you know what? My That was my sad attempt of trying to be thoughtful. I opened the door. I cracked into the trash can. I was like, oops, sorry. Yo, we got like five minutes. You really need to hurry up. <laughs> right. She was done with the patience. Why did you send her back in, though, Chris? Well, because... You didn't come when oh, you're, I, <laughs> you're gentle. Th- yeah. No, the real answer is she sent I, me in there to be the bad guy. Well, because I thought, I said to Gianna, I said, I can't go back in there. I was going to be mad. Can we make a pact that if I'm ever sleeping here, it's only Chris who wakes me up? Because Chris is a mom and moms just are better at that kind of thing. I think you're right. I think that's what it was. But if you're getting woken up by a member of the crew, let it be Chris. Because Gianna, I mean, it was, the trash can was on the other side of the room. Boom, bop, boom. I mean. I'm now the CBS. Yeah, I gotta say, it was, yeah, it was quite a day. Here's what's coming up with Chris and the crew. I don't want to startle you. You well, know, know what? Somebody I, wakes you up at the last minute, you're like, oh my God, I'm up, I'm up. You know what I wasn't going to let Joe do? Miss time on this show with us. And guess Obviously, what I did? And she did not. Now, I she, succeeded. Gianna knew my coffee order and it was here waiting for me. And I told my boyfriend that. And my that boyfriend said, I don't even know your coffee order. No, I know. It. I actually <laughs> the notes on my phone, too. All oh right, coming God. up, 848, we're going to do the scoop. So Taylor breaking all kinds of records with her tortured poets department. How many times did you listen to it over the weekend? And uh, Morgan Wallen broke his silence. First time since the, uh, you know, the chair throwing incident. I'll tell you what he had to say. Chris and the crew, 94.5 PST. It's Chris and the crew's daily scoop. Yeah, Taylor Swift's tortured poets department broke in the Spotify record for the most streamed album in a day. We kind of figured that, right? Taylor's also the most streamed artist in a day. And Fortnite, the first single from the album, is the most streamed song in a day. The album sold 1.6 million copies in a day. 600,000 of those were vinyl. I'm kind of surprised at that high vinyl number. Uh, the Fortnite video features Ethan Hawke and Josh Charles. If you don't know who they are, they were in the movie The Dead Poets Society. And Josh says that he even had to keep it from his family. 
Like, he signed a thing saying this was confidential. Imagine having to keep that from your kids, right? That's like, ooh, that's a good, good secret keeper. And his kids are Swifties, and they mm-hmm. were super excited when they found out. If you bought a physical copy of the album, you got a cool bonus. There's a poem by Stevie Nicks printed inside. Stevie, of course, is mentioned in the track Clara, uh, Clara Bow. Uh, Morgan Wallen finally speaking out about, you know, his arrest for throwing that chair off that rooftop bar down in Nashville. He said, I didn't feel publicly right. Uh, checking in until I made amends with some folks. So I guess he did some apologies, you know, uh, you know, in person. I'm not proud of my behavior and I accept responsibility. Until the next time. With him, it seems like Until it's a reoccurring time. theme. Yeah. yeah. So starting today, McDonald's has a new bacon Cajun ranch McCrispy. Yum. Right. That's a mouthful. Like literally a mouthful. Yeah. But only for a limited time. Tesla has been ordered to recall nearly 4,000 of its cyber trucks due to that accelerator pedal problem that we've been hearing about. It sticks when it's pressed down, obviously. That's a problem. If you haven't seen these trucks, they are like something out of like the way future. They look like a box. It looks like an army tank. It's crazy to look at. And okay, so it's Earth Day today. Some simple things you can do to help the planet. Stop wasting your leftovers. It'll save you money too. If you buy the food, eat the food. That, yeah, makes sense. That's hard, though. How many times do you, like, buy produce and stuff, and it sits there, and it sits there, and it sits there? Do you buy that bag of lettuce like I do and go, ah, this is something I'll remember in a week when it's time to throw it away? Yep. I sure do. Yeah, but stop overusing napkins. They say, you know how you grab, like, two, three napkins per meal because you think you're going to need them, and then afterwards you just throw them away, and you've probably used one. They say you can stop doing that. And obviously, we have two in Jersey, but use those recycled, those reusable grocery bags. Yeah. We have to, right? In Jersey. All right, here's the scoop. Here's what's coming up with Chris and the crew. All right, just after 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, I should say, <laughs> we got another cash code for you. Still going on last week for cash codes. So you better get in on this. 30 grand in your hand is what we want to give you. So uh, sponsored locally by Dogs and Cats Rule for all natural pet foods and supplies online at dogsandcatsrule.pet. Make sure you've got the 94.5 PST app downloaded. You're going to need it. You get 10 codes every weekday. We can pay, pay your uh, bills with this for a long time. All right. So make sure you're listening. Chris and the crew, 94.5 PST. Chris and the crew on 94.5 PST, your number one hit music station. Going commercial free at 10 with another 94 minute commercial free music sweep. How would you like some free wine at the next restaurant you go to? How do you do it? This is starting to catch on. Yeah, so it started uh, because of this restaurant in Italy, actually. And now other restaurants are kind of getting on the trend. So if you uh, put your phone at the front of the restaurant when your dinner starts and you don't ask her back, like you opt to do this, you can get a free bottle of wine just by not being on your phone the entire meal. Is this just certain restaurants? Yeah, certain restaurants are doing this. I've heard a lot of restaurants are starting to catch on to this trend. But where basically like you check your coat. You check your phone. Yep. Why are they giving you the wine, though? There, I guess I'm confused. Like, what's in it for them? They don't care. What does it matter if the restaurant's on your phone? I and I'm, swear a, to God, I'm an owner. Joe, I thought the exact same thing. Like, what? You're still paying the bill. Yeah, I'm still. What do they care if you're on your phone? Yeah, that's what I, like, I mean. That, like, what? what's guess, in it for them? It's I more of, I want you to experience the restaurant. And I think it's just more of a a marketing thing, if that makes sense I for guess. them. Because now they're getting all this clout by doing it. I mean, are you bothering the people next to you if you have your phone out? I mean, I don't even notice other people around me when I'm in a restaurant and people have their phones out. because your head's in your phone already. <laughs> no, I like to, when I'm out but to like, dinner, I really it's don't more to like, like to do that. It's more to just like encourage quality time at I mean, dinner. Well, and what am I getting out of this? A, a bottle of Barefoot and a $9 bottle of Barefoot? Hey, I'll take it. $9 <laughs> is $9. <laughs> Chris and the crew, 94.5 PST.